Greetings. Today I'm going to teach you about mainframe system. So first we will shortly discuss what is mainframe system. Mainframe is the central data repository, or hub, in a corporation's data processing center, linked to users through less, less powerful devices such as workstations or terminals. The presence of a mainframe often implies a centralized form of computing, as opposed to a distributed form of computing. So now we will discuss about different types of mainframe computing. System. So first of all we will discuss simple batch system. So, simple batch systems, in this type of system, there is no direct interaction between user and the computer. The user has to submit a job, written on cards or tape, to a computer. Operator. Then computer operator places a batch of several jobs on an input device. Jobs are batched together by type of languages and requirement. Then a special program, the monitor, manages the execution of each program in the batch. The monitor is always in the main memory and available for execution. Advantages of simple batch systems. 1. No interaction between user and computer. 2. No mechanism to prioritize the processes. Hopefully all are understand about simple batch systems so now we are going to discuss about multiprogramming batch system. Multiprogramming batch systems, in this the operating system picks up and begins to execute one of the jobs from memory. Once this job needs an I.O. operation operating system switches to another job, CPU and OS always busy. Jobs in the memory are always less than the number of jobs on disk job pool. If several jobs are ready to run at the same time, then the system chooses which one to run through the process of CPU scheduling. In non-multiprogrammed system, there are moments when CPU sits idle and does not do any work. In multiprogramming system, CPU will never be idle and keeps on processing. Time sharing systems are very similar to multiprogramming batch systems. In fact time sharing systems are an extension of multiprogramming systems in time sharing systems the prime focus is on minimizing the response time while in multiprogramming the prime focus is to maximize the CPU usage next we are going to discuss about clustered systems clustered systems like parallel systems clustered systems gather together multiple CPUs to accomplish computational work clustered systems differ from parallel systems however, in that they are composed of two or more individual systems coupled together. The definition of the term clustered is not concrete, the general accepted definition is that clustered computer, share storage and are closely linked via LAN networking. Clustering is usually performed to provide high availability. A layer of cluster software runs on the cluster nodes. Each node can monitor one or more of the others, if the monitored machine fails, the monitoring machine can take ownership of its storage, and restart the applications that were running on the failed machine. The failed machine can remain down but the users and clients of the application would, only see a brief interruption of service. Asymmetric clustering, in this, one machine is in hot standby mode while the other is running the applications. The hot standby host, machine, does nothing but monitor the active server. Symmetric clustering, in this, two or more hosts are running applications, and they are monitoring each other. This mode is obviously more efficient, as it uses all of the available hardware. Parallel clustering. Parallel clusters allow multiple hosts to access the same data on the shared storage. Because most operating systems lack support for this simultaneous data access by multiple hosts, Parallel clusters are usually accomplished, special versions of software and special releases of applications. Clustered technology is rapidly changing. Clustered systems usage and its features should expand greatly as storage area networks SANS. SANS allow easy attachment of multiple hosts. Current clusters are usually limited to two or four hosts due to the complexity of connecting the hosts to shared storage. Underscore. Now we will discuss real-time operating system. Real-time operating system, it is defined as an operating system known to give maximum time for each of the critical operations that it performs, like OS calls and interrupt handling the real-time operating system which guarantees the maximum time for critical operations and, complete them on time are referred to as hard real-time operating systems. 
while the real-time operating systems that can only guarantee a maximum of the time, i.e. the critical task will get priority over other tasks, but no assurity of completing. Thank you for your attention. Remember me in your prayer. Bye-bye.